Hey Gabe, do you know what zebras have to do with chocolate? Absolutely nothing. Welcome back, fast foodies, to another chocolate, chocolate. review. As you guys can tell, I am not wearing the fast foodie shirt today. No, Gabe is wearing the fast foodie shirt. Well, I got, <laughs> I got my very own. Yeah, yeah. Well, Parker got me my very own fast foodie shirt. So funny story. Uh, a few days ago, or like two weeks, or last week. I went home to visit my family, and before I left, I gave Gabe another fast foodie shirt I bought, so I gave him that. And so I went home with my own fast foodie shirt, and then I came back, but well, wouldn't you know it, I forgot my fast foodie shirt Darn. back at home. But don't worry, my mom is going to be express shipping it here very yep. shortly, so I'll hopefully... So we'll be both rocking them. Yeah, very, very shortly. But in the meantime, Gabe is going to be rocking the fast foodie attire. And well, that's pretty much the main reason I brought him on. But the other reason I brought him on is because we're actually going to be reviewing a uh, chocolate bar. And this is actually a French brand, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, you see, there's like a French description. Yeah. And now, Gabe isn't French, but you are Canadian, right? Yeah. And they speak. No, I actually am French. You are? Yeah, but oh, that's French. Chinese. There you go. I, there yeah. you go. So, yeah, where did you know? There you go. And now, the special thing, or the cool thing about this chocolate bar is that it's actually my mom got it for me. <laughs> so she bought it because a woman at her work was telling her all about the chocolate. I thought mm. it was so good. But she later found out that, well, as you guys can see, we have a milk raspberry chocolate bar. You want me to read it in French for them? Uh, yeah, sure. It says chocolat au lait. Oh, so wow. Milk raspberry. There you go. But we later found out that the chocolate bar that my friend told my mom about was actually a mango chocolate bar, mm. not raspberry. And so I don't know how she got the two mixed uh, up. Yeah, <laughs> Raspberry, yeah. mango, they're kind of yeah. different. But I guess the mango one is very hard to find, probably because it's so good. Mm -hmm. And so if anyone out there has found a, a mango raspberry chocolate bar from E. Weddell, um, yeah, let us know in the comments down below. But I still think this could go relatively well. Although, yeah, as I mentioned, I don't know why there's yeah, a zebra. Yeah, maybe um, it's like their mascot or something. Yeah, and it looks like, have you, you know Curious George? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like Curious George yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Right there, on the <laughs> little French guy. <laughs> um, but before we get into it, I was actually looking at the packaging and there's a little description Ooh. on the back. So because it was not in French, but I thought I'd give Gabe, Gabe if you want to read it there. Yeah, I'm going to test my uh, literary skills here. Jane Waddell, the grandson of our company founder, was unrivaled in his skills as an expert chocolatier. He could tell the origin of cacao beans based on their appearance, aroma, and the taste of raw grain. That's impressive. He would personally oversee all transport of this raw material. And today, we follow the Waddell's tradition of chocolate making to ensure the highest quality of our raw materials and products. Oh boy. And it is from Ghana. Ghana cacao. So, this well, is gonna, be good. I think this is gonna be some, honestly, I have high hopes. Yeah, I it do It sounds too. like it's gonna be some pretty high-end chocolate. All right, well, let's open this up and uh, taste it out. Now, it is since 1851, so they've been around for yep. quite some time. Yeah. Almost as long as a fast foodie. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Their chocolate is as good as this is as hard to open. Oh, Ooh, there we go. It's a little yeah. unconventional, but you yeah. get it. Oh. Now this is it. Now it's milk chocolate with a raspberry filling, so it's not a raspberry milk chocolate. Very different. Yeah, very different. There you go. Thank you, sir. I don't see much of the milk raspberry. I see the cream yeah. filling. Yeah, we'll see yeah, what the flavor. I think it'll be inside. Great. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep. This reminds me of like the the Jaffa cakes. You know, oh, yeah, Jaffa. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, ready? Yep. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Yeah, that's not your like. The chocolate like melts in your mouth. That's not like the chocolate you pick up at like Walmart. That's, yeah. You know, this is, wow. The, the, this reminds me of um, uh, the, the raspberry battle we did. Um, oh yeah, yeah, what was it? Well, there's something that was filled. And that was also good. Oh no, it was the Giardelli. Yes. Yeah, the Giardelli. Yeah, 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 yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, no, definitely. This is, no, this is definitely high quality. I think, but, like the milk chocolateness. With the cream, it creates an even like a creamier flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the jelly, I thought it might be get overpowered, but no, I got it right away. You're not getting, there's not one overpowering flavor. Mm -hmm. It blends well together. It does. Free. No, it's a it's a symphony yep. of flavors. That's well crafted. Well crafted. Yeah. 
he knows his stuff. Well, he thinks of they've been making chocolate for 200 years or there you go. 175 years. <laughs> they know their stuff. They do. So if you guys see this in your local stores, definitely pick it up. And I don't know how much it costs because as my mom said, or as I said, my mom picked it up. So it probably is a little pricey, but yeah, I feel like your chocolate. So. I mean, I'd be curious time. to see what other kinds they have. You said they have yeah. mango. Yeah. I'm sure they have other ones, and they're yeah. probably going to be just as good. Yeah, we'll have to do some research for sure. Yeah. Online. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as we enjoyed. Hey, but this you review. forgot something. They want oh, to see more. If they want to see, we will get our hands on that mango one eventually because we will. We, we, so the fast food. Exactly. We're all about trying to the greatest. So if you want to see more, you gotta smash that subscribe button, baby. I mean, I don't even need to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got the shirt. I earned it. I earned it. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's a few hours later. We just finished okay. off filming a review of the brand new Blackout Cake Oreos. And, uh, well, I just realized we forgot to give it a rating. So do you remember what you thought of it? Uh, yeah, I know exactly what my rating is. All right. Three. Three. Nine and a half. Oh. There you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will catch you in the next one. Yeah, definitely make sure to stay out. Stay out. Stay tuned for that Blackout Cake Oreo because that was, uh, we almost blacked out. <laughs> made it to the end of this video and I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well so all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and to see exclusive behind the scenes footage then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at fast foodies review